the struggle, the, the fight. I mean, that's what you've been all about since you showed up. And you've shown the ability to do the job, but forever we didn't see how good you were. Talk about how important that was and is for you as a, as a racer, as a person, to be able to face adversity, fight, persevere through all that, and then win. I would not have written it the way it all has went down up to this point. I wouldn't wish my life on anybody in a good or a bad way. Um, just the ups and downs, uh, you know it, and, and any race car driver knows it. People on the outside might think we have a glamorous life and we live a, a, a good life, but we take this so serious, and that's our own downfall, but it's also the reason that we strive to win so much. That's why winning is so important, um, because it's everything to us, and it's it's without it you know what what are we doing so you know to get the opportunity last year with with chip ganassi racing and, and their xfinity car for a couple of races and um you know that that really no matter what else happens in my life that changed my life because i won in nascar's top divisions you mentioned the, the races in 2011 after i got done with those five races i thought well i won i will never win and i might not ever race again in nascar but i know that i at least did it and even though got i'll never chance. win it's okay. Um, so I set my my goals, you know, pretty. Uh, I mean, they were still lofty to be competitive, but I just thought I knew right after those races, I was like, man, what it takes to win is is beyond where I'll ever reach. So to have that opportunity and to to, to out of the three, you know, had a shot to win all of them and and definitely capitalize on one. Tell me who you were that Saturday night after you you accomplished that in Las Vegas and and what what your emotions were and and how you thought back to, to your dad and your grandpa and everybody making you a safer car. And now you're a winner in one of the top series of NASCAR. Yeah, it's it's incredible as I try to think back on it. Some of it's blurry. Uh, it was a lot to take in. I had the cup race the next day with premium, so I didn't get I didn't get crazy. Yeah, um, but, but, but it was it, Vegas. I don't it know. It was, but I, I uh, we, we got done with victory lane. I stayed in there as long as I could. <laughs> we went and took some pictures for... Um, the playoffs for Xfinity mm -hmm. uh, with all the other drivers. So I was late to that because I came straight from Victory Lane. Um, stopped on the way back from there to walk back to Victory Lane because I didn't want to be done yet and slipped into a little side room next to the media center and uh, had a moment to myself because it all of a sudden kind of hit me. You know, we never, we just never thought any of this was, was going to happen. We never thought we'd have much success. You know, I mean, just realistically, NASCAR is the best of the best, you know, that good race car drivers but do the best monday to thursday to get on track on a nascar circuit in a nascar race car so um, you have to have the whole package you know i mean there's i know that there's tens of thousands of race car drivers in in the world and and a lot of them are probably better than me and a lot of better than us and and you just have to just wade through all the stuff um, to get there and then just be the best you can be once you do arrive and you were on that afternoon in September in Las Vegas. There's and, still room for improvement, though. But I, but that gave you the opportunity to put Johnny Davis in the playoffs. It gave you the opportunity to, to race for a championship. But then it was announced that you you were you were going to drive that 42 full time in 2019. Let me fast forward everything from the win at Vegas. Everything we're getting full time ride. We're racing for a championship. Everything is perfect. And it's Christmas time. It's time to be thankful and happy. And Ross is looking at 2019 and saying, I'm going to win me a championship. And the call came. Yep. When, when the news came that DC Solar was, was out and there was issues and Chip wasn't going to be able to race forward, uh, how does how, – I'm sure it broke Chip's heart too to call you and tell you that. What, what was that call like? Just sorry, bud? Yeah, there was nothing needed to be said. We both knew the situation, um, and we just said we'll figure it out one day. And, and I told him I'd be there when he was ready. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stop. I, I said that then. I went home for Christmas, was home for about a week, and, and thought a lot about walking away from all this and just maybe, maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe maybe it's not in my plan to do this and, and just felt like, there was more to be gained here. You know, I want to make a go at this. I feel like there's potential. Uh, I see light. I don't see the doom and gloom people talk about with the ratings and the attendance. I just, I see a lot of good in NASCAR. Yeah. So you get on the phone, you call Johnny, yeah. you call... Well, you he call. called me. So once they told him, um, he called me right away and said, you know, do you want to get back in the four? Yep, want to do that. Um, the colleague stuff was working with Nutrient Ag Solutions. So Elliot Sadler, 
um, had that uh, had that sponsorship and had that program, and he wanted me to be a part of it. A lot of potential there, and a lot of uh, of just good people and farmers and farming and everybody in the ag community is that's what I'm all about, and that's what Nutrient Ag Solutions is all about. Well, having you here today is something that is really uh, I'm thankful for because it it sends a message that. There's going to be twists and there's going to be turns. Man. And when you think you've got it all figured out, you better figure again. And I know there's times when you look in the mirror and you say, what am I doing? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? But inside, the answer is yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And, and I just appreciate you sharing your story with, uh, with everybody today.